Welcome to TriTech Labs, your resource for technical and product overviews of life science instrumentation. Today we're going to be taking a look at LabNet's Spectrifuge 24D Micro Centrifuge. And folks, it's pretty clear that just by reading the specifications, LabNet's intentions with this instrument are very clear. They wanted to create a versatile centrifuge at a very reasonable price. Now, the first thing you may notice is actually the size of the unit, or rather the lack of it. Uh, if you're looking to save valuable workspace, the 24D only requires 8.5 by 11.5 inches. Really, it's just about the size of a standard sheet of paper. Not only that, but since this unit is not refrigerated, it's really easy to move around since it only weighs about 18 pounds. So let's move on to the nitty gritty, really the stuff that you want to hear about. The 24D has two digital displays and two rotating knobs. The first set of controls all the way to the left gives you the flexibility to adjust the timer in increments of 30 seconds all the way to a maximum length of 30 minutes. The controls to the right give you the ability to set speed in RPM or RCF. By pushing down on the knob, you can actually specify either RPM or RCF values. RPMs can be set in increments of 100 with a minimum speed of 500 and a maximum speed of 13,300 RPM. Force, on the other hand, can be set in increments of 100 with a minimum RCF value of 100 all the way up to a maximum RCF of 16,300. This is a surprisingly unique feature for a centrifuge of this price range. If being able to control both speed and time are crucial in many separation experiments, we're scratching our heads wondering why so many manufacturers offer so little for so much. What's also very unique about this instrument is the inclusion of a 24 by 1.5 or 2 milliliter angle rotor, which includes a lid and is surprisingly lightweight. Taking off the lid is as easy as just pulling up on this metal knob. This rotor can be equipped with a variety of adapters, which can accept tubes from 0.2 milliliters all the way up to 0.6 milliliters. This rotor can even accept LabNet's unique strip spin adapter, which allows it to spin 0.2 milliliter strip tubes. So let's fire this puppy up and see how well it works. We're going to start by spinning it to its maximum RPM at a time of only 30 seconds. First, I'm going to push down on the knob to select RPM, and then I'm going to select the RPM by twisting it, obviously, clockwise, all the way to, should read about 13.3. And there it goes. Now all I have to do is press this knob over here to the left, and it'll actually start the process. Now you may or may not be able to hear that, but it is exceptionally quiet. And just like that, it's already at its maximum speed. And it should power down here in just a few seconds. And there you have it. In about 40 seconds, it went from zero to its maximum speed back to zero. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below and let us know. And don't forget to visit our website at www.tritechinc.com where you can find this instrument as well as a large range of life science instrumentation. Until next time, this is Vero Tabaris with TriTech Labs. Have a good one!